lexus medial palpation of knee joint so here it is mentioned some of the structure which we can palpate over the medial aspect of the knee or thigh so basically what are those structure first is boundary of joint space second is medial epicondyle of the femur third adductor tubercle and tendon of adductor magnus medial collateral ligament and is unsteadiness muscle group so basically these are the structure apart from this structure there there are several more structure we can palpate over the medial side so again first we have to discuss about the position of the patient so the patient position will remain same as we have already did in anterior knee palpation a oh, patient should be in in a sitting position or a treatment couch or a heighted stool the trapez position trapez will remain over the any side but the most convenient position it will remain in front of the patient but little bit if you are going to palpate the medial aspect then the trapez position will be on the little bit lateral side it facilitate the palpation so let's start the first structure that is the boundary of joint space so we have already discussed the boundary of joint space in anterior palpation technique karna kya hai aapko first of all you have to localize the apex of patella just adjacent you are going to identify the medial side of the knee so first of all apex of patella ko identify karna hai and jab aapka knee 90 degree pe hota hai to your joint opens up it open up so kya hota hai ki aapko apex of patella se just medial you have to identify the joint space which is formed by the femoral condyle proximally and this time it is your tibial plane so just place your thumb pad or finger pad in that joint space and slide it towards the medial side what a it both clear that both uh, deep space hota hai this so follow karte hue you can reach ultimately over the medial aspect so aapko follow karte hue jana hai medially shift karna hai and ultimately as well as you reach over the medial aspect your thumb pad will push up or it become outside of that gap or joint space se bahar aa jata hai and you feel you will feel the uh, elastic consistency over the when you slide your thumb pad jab aap lateral side medial side mein aap move karoge to ultimately your thumb pad will slide over a elastic structure basically this is the location of your medial collateral ligament now for confirmation ki aapka jo structure aap palpate kar rahe ho wo medial collateral ligament hai ya nahi hai to isko hum abhi aage bhi discuss karenge ki hum exact लोकेशन और करेक्ट लोकलाइजेशन कैसे करते हैं सो दिस इज द मेथड स्पेशली फॉर आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ योर जॉइंट स्पेस नेक्स्ट इज बेसिकली दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज योर मेडियल इपिकॉन्डाइल ऑफ द फीमर तो मेडियल इपिकॉन्डाइल ऑफ द फीमर पार्पेट करने के लिए क्या करना है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू मेक अ फ्लैट ग्रेप लाइक दिस यू कैन यूज थ्री और फोर फिंगर और मोर फिंगर फॉर आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ मेडियल इपिकॉन्डाइल आपको just you have to place your hand over the just proximally to the joint line and over the medial aspect of the presumed location of femoral condyle aapko aisa rakhna hai and then you have to perform a circular palpatory technique with little bit of pressure halka sa pressure laga ke aapko palpate karna hai and you have to identify the most prominent part or elevated part which is found over the femoral condyle and that is jo aapka ye elevated part hai basically this is your femoral condyle we can understand this location of femoral 
if you call line over here first you have to place all the flat grid for the medium size and then perform the circulator circulatory palpatory technique and identify the exact elevated small bony landmark that is the location of your medial if you call line. So this is the location of your medial EP condyle and from the medial EP condyle basically as you know it provides the attachment to different structure. Yeh se distally aap move karoge towards the joint line you will find elastic structure that is your medial collector ligament. So pehla to structure rahi hai ki aapka medial collector ligament ka attachment hota hai and the second structure is your muscular attachment. Basically, your adductor magnus found the attachment just proximally to the medial epicondyle. One more thing, we can identify first your adductor magnus tendon and follow it distally and ultimately you will reach all the adductor tubercle. First, second, you can identify adductor tubercle first and then move proximally and identify bulging structure that is the tendon of adductor magnus. So, dono hi hai, jo bhi aapko easy lage, waisa karna hai. Basically, this adductor tubercle is, you can say, it is the continuation of the medial epicondyle. So, pehla aapko medial epicondyle identify karna hai and then just slide your thumb pad proximally towards the, in the line of femur, proximally. Jab aap move karo de, so you will find a mixed type of consistency because from here, this structure basically provides the attachment of adductor magnus. So, kuch mixed consistency milegi. But this, uh, if you apply little bit firmer pressure, you will find a bulging small bony structure, a rough structure, jo aapna medial epicondyle hota hai, that is clear cut margin, it elevated part hota hai, but jaysay jaysay aap proximally move kar to femur ki line mein, ye rough ho jata hai. So basically this is the location, aur is mein ye continuation hai, sabse pointed area aapka epicondyle ko hota hai, aur jab aap proximally move kar hoge, to yahi irregular rough area aapka adductor tubercle hai. One more thing for identification of adductor magnus tendon, you just little bit you have to lift your thighs in up, upward direction means jaysa ki distress kiya patient the position aapka kis pe hoga sitting mein and thigh will remain in supported position. So, aapka jitni bhi posterior group of muscles hai, so sari ki sari medial or lateral side mein shift ho jayenge. So, you can not feel the tendon of adductor magnus means wahan pe multiple tendon mil sakte hai aur muscles interfere kar sakte hai. So, agar aapko adductor magnus ka tendon palpate karna hai, so first of all you have to lift the thigh up and then apply a resistance for the medial side of the thigh and ask the patient or subject to move it medially. Jab subject, ya patient, ya movement perform karega and you will provide the resistance, the tendon of adductor magnus will bulge jau. So, dono hi method hai, aap pehla adductor magnus ka tendon palpate kar sakte ho and isko follow karte hoi aap distally move karoge. Ultimately, you will reach over the adductor tubercle. Dosa method hai, directly aap adductor tubercle ho identify karo and wahan se aap jo bhi tendon aapko mil raha hai usko follow karte hoi proximally move karoge so you will reach all the you will identify the adductor magnus muscle next is the location of medial collector ligament so pehle bhi hum jaisa kar chuke hai ki jab hum joint line ko follow karte hoi medially jayenge to jahan pe aapka joint space खत्म हो रहा है जहाँ पे एंड हो रहा है जहाँ से आपका थंब पैड बाहर निकलना स्टार्ट हो जाए कोई स्ट्रक्चर आपके थंब पैड के साथ में स्ट्राइक करने लगेगा तो बेसिकली इट विल बी द लोकेशन ऑफ योर मेडियल कोलेटर लिगामेंट बट फॉर एग्जैक्ट पल्पेशन अगेन वी कैन स्टार्ट आर पल्पेशन फ्रॉम द मेडियल इपिकॉन्डाइन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आइडेंटिफाई द मेडियल इपिकॉन्डाइन 
and vertically downward towards the joint line. You have to slide your thumb pad just below the medial epicondyle and then perform this transverse palpatory technique with firm pressure. थोड़ा सा ज्यादा प्रेशर लगाना पड़ेगा क्योंकि यहाँ पे एक स्ट्रक्चर और होता है दैट इज योर योर अल्सेनियस मसल ग्रुप बेसिकली चार मसल्स का ग्रुप का इंसर्शन होता है और द एंटोमीडियल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द टीबिया तो वहीं पे आके इंसर्ट करते हैं तो यहाँ पे ओवरलैपिंग हो सकती है आपके मीडियल को लेटर लिगामेंट के साथ में लॉ यू शुड फैमिलियर द कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ द लिगामेंट की कैसा फील होता है लिगामेंट यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई द लेटर को लेटर लिगामेंट और वेस ऑफ द लिगामेंट तो कैसी कंसिस्टेंसी होती है थिक इलास्टिक बैंड होता है एंड इट इज लिटिल विथ थिनर इन कंपेरिजन वेन यू कंपेयर विद द टेंडर तो बेसिकली यहाँ पे एक इंटरफेयर स्ट्रक्चर है दैट इज द टेस्ट हर्सन इज मसल ग्रुप उसमें आपका सेपरेशन करना पड़ेगा एंड यू हैव टू अप्लाई दिस ट्रांसफर पार्पेक्टिव टेक्निक और पार्पेशन के साथ में आपको आइडेंटिफाई करना पड़ेगा कि एग्जैक्टली वो स्ट्रक्चर कौन सा है मीन्स आपका मीडियल कोलेक्टर लिगामेंट की क्या लोकेशन है एक बेसिकली इट इज फॉर लर्निंग पर्पज बट इन मोस्ट ऑफ द नी कंडीशन इफ योर सब्जेक्ट इज कंप्लेनिंग एनी टाइप ऑफ पेन ओवर द मीडियल साइड इट मे बी रिलेटेड टू योर सब बर्साइटिस इट मे बी रिलेटेड टू द डिजेनेटिव चेंजेस मीन्स ऑस्ट्रियोथलाइटिस द लोकेशन इज मोस्ट सेम एंड इट मे बी द इंजरी ऑफ योर मिनिस्टर्स और मीडियल कोलेक्टर लीगामेंट तो फर्दर आइडेंटिफिकेशन या पैथोलॉजिकल कंडीशन में हम क्या करते हैं वी कैन फर्स्ट आइडेंटिफाई द लोकेशन एंड देन अप्लाई द वेलगस स्ट्रेस फॉर द लेग सेपरेशन करने की ज्वाइंट को ओपन अप करने की कोशिश करते हैं एंड पेशेंट विल इफ पेशेंट इज कंप्लेनिंग द पेन ऑन द सेम लोकेशन वेयर यू आर पल्पेटिंग सो मीन्स योर पल्पेशन और योर स्ट्रक्चर इज योर मीडियल कोलेक्टर लीगामेंट so we can understand the location presume anatomical location of your medial collateral ligament it is somewhat like this and this is the location of your test or tenuous muscle group next structure is basically it is the palpation of test or tenuous muscle group and it is formed by four different muscle one is your gracilis Second is your sartorius, third is your semitendinosus, and fourth is your semimembranous. So basically, these two muscles could be identified in each and every subject very easily. There is nothing to perform or nothing to do. Just ask, just place your hand or ask the subject to place the hand over the posteromedial aspect of the thigh. Means just proximal to the joint line. Posterior, posteromedial aspect of the thigh. पीछे हाथ रखना है, and then isometrically from the back of the ankle, you may provide the resistance and ask the subject to flex the knee. जब patient ऐसा करने की कोशिश करेगा, so the first tendon that you feel from the medial to lateral palpation, that tendon will be your semitendinosus tendon. And next, if you move further and identify another tendon. That tendon will be of your semimembranosus, and these are the two tendon which are related to your hamstring muscle group. So basically, the pure function is the knee flexion of these two muscles, and you can identify or this tendon and the muscles is basically tendinous. So you can identify these two muscles very easily, and rest of the muscle you can further palpate or the from the Posto medial side of the thigh. So basically, these are the structure which we have discussed in the medial knee palpation or medial thigh palpation.